98 FM's Dublin Talks GAA. Right, Cal, great to see you again. Listen, I want to start off talking about the week leading up to these big games. We're into a Leinster semi-final now. All the pressure is going to be on the team the week building up. Does it really crank up for the players now at this stage, I suppose, the Monday before the Sunday? Absolutely. Uh, th- the week leading into a game is uh, an exciting time for a player. A lot of the hard work has, has been done over the previous maybe two to three weeks. Obviously, Dublin played um, against Longford the last day, so it's a four-week break to the uh, Kildare semi-final. But, yeah, the week of the game, a lot of mental preparation, a lot of talk about tactics. Um, and then, obviously, the team is picked later in the week, so you're, you're hoping you're in the starting 15. How much work goes into the opposition? Yeah, nowadays a lot of analysis will go into uh, dissecting the opposition and, and focusing on their strengths and weaknesses and seeing different areas that you can try and exploit yourself. So um, the manager and the management team and, and stats guys would have done a lot of homework on it over the last couple of weeks. Obviously analysed Kildare's couple of games against Leash and uh, trying to zone in on a couple of areas that they hope to, to, to make the most of then on Sunday. Now, we saw Michael Darren McCauley coming on um, in that game against Longford, he's had his injury problems. Mm. How much will those, I suppose, 20 to 30 minutes, how much will that bring him on ahead of this Kildare match? And do you think he's going to start? Yeah, I mean, Mick will be pushing very hard for a start in place. We actually played Bally Bowden in a, in a game a couple of weeks ago. He was playing in that, and he probably got another game or two under his belt with his club. Um, so I think from Mick's point of view, he just needs matches. Uh, he missed a, a fair chunk of the league. Um, but like, he's going to be a very important player for Dublin uh, throughout the summer. Um, may not get a start this Sunday I mean uh, Brian Fenton and Dennis Bassick and a few of the guys are going very well around the middle so um, if he doesn't get a start you'd be looking at him maybe getting in 30-40 minutes under his belt again Now Bernard Brogan's been seen around the city and this is the thing about GA Barry you can't really keep these secrets under wraps but he's been seen around the city with a cast on his arm we don't know if he's going to be ready for this match or not but he really would be a big loss because he's been absolutely in brilliant form this so, so far this year. Yeah, he was excellent the last day um, against Longford. Very clinical up front, scoring one six from play. Um, you know, he's injury free I think for the last two three months, which is important to him. Um, obviously, with this uh, concern going into the game on, on Sunday, it's not ideal. Um, in saying that, if if Bernard is to miss out this Sunday, I'm sure they have other lads who can come in and, and do a job. The likes of Paddy Andrews who came on the last day and did very well. So, um, ideally, it'd like Bernard fit and available and in team but um, if he misses out this Sunday you'd be just hoping that he's available for the, the bigger games later in the summer. I wonder could it be mind games Barry, are they trying to send a message down to Galair maybe? Uh, maybe <laughs> so, uh, things like that have uh, taken place in the, in, in the past um, but I think from Dublin's point of view they're, they're very focused and uh, you know they just get on with things with, with someone like Jim Gavin on board Now I know you haven't been playing for a while yourself for the inter-county team but do you still get excited yourself in these weeks building up to the big games? Absolutely, I mean that's why you do all the training really, Um, you know going back to sort of November time onwards and doing all the hard graft during the the winter months and in the the not too glamorous weather uh, conditions in January and February and all the league games and all the gym sessions, it's to play in championship matches in Crow Park. Dublin are fortunate that when you're you know, an inter-county player with Dublin, you get to play in Crow Park during the summer in front of big crowds. And certainly that's, that's the motivation throughout the year. I know, Barry, we're heading out to Balbriggan for this uh, latest edition of Dublin Talks GAA, going out to the milestone. I know there's a lot of dedicated Blues fans out there, but we are going very close to enemy lines, and I mean Meath, and we could be playing Meath in the final. Um, very important that we get plenty of Balbriggan Blues out there, just to make sure we don't get uh, any royal spoils coming out there. But uh, do you think you'd be able to pick them out in the audience, Barry, if they are there? Absolutely, um, <laughs> that's true. We're hoping to see as many dubs out there um, on Friday night in Balbriggan. Looking forward to it. Um, you know, a few Mead guys are, are welcome to come in and, and have a look, and we'll have a bit of crack and a bit of banter with them, but all in a sort of light-hearted manner. But yeah, myself and Brian Cullen looking forward to it, all right. Great stuff, Barry. We'll see you then. 98 FM's Dublin Talks GAA.